It's your boy Jay weighing in at 196. We on our way down. Yesterday we were 197. So let's get it. See what happens. What's up, party people? It's your boy Just Jordan. Make sure you buy the album. Pre order Olympus on vinyl. <laughs> so uh, we're heading to the gym on this very rainy day man the weather in uh in edmonton have has not been ideal has not been ideal um it's been storming and shit oh what's up with this wet right now um but we headed to the gym i wanted to go on a on a run outside today but uh no thanks no thanks so we'll go hit the gym we're gonna do a chest and tricep workout and one thing we're gonna focus in on especially with some of the chest days moving forward is incline pressing we're really trying to uh, build up the upper pecs the upper pecs and most people are gonna be much weaker and underdeveloped same thing with people's upper back as well. That's another main focus that I want to shoot for over the next little while. Um, but we shall be... Uh, yeah, so we just, we'll just go and then we'll hit the uh, treadmill for a little run at the end as well. And uh, we'll also hit a sauna. So I'm hoping to hit that I guess you you would have already seen the weight. I haven't weighed in yet. Um, I weigh in after the gym before I eat. Remember, I get some snake juice in every day too. Sodium, potassium. Damn, what the fuck? Look at all these people out here right now. Why is it so busy? I hate uh, I hate maneuvering in a busy world. <laughs> Play. Kind of. Kind of just playing. Um, man, it is not nice outside. So, uh, yeah, we got. Yeah, let's uh, move this up here a little bit more. So, yeah, chest, triceps. Uh, if the gym isn't too busy, I'll try to grab a bunch of uh, footage. Again, we're on the race to 175 pounds. Um, yeah, I'm trying to go hard this month, get below the 190s. The one thing I, I do gotta say is I've been maintaining good muscle mass. I've been maintaining good strength, if not building a little bit of strength. Man, those guys are high the fuck up there. Not very nice weather, but you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. So we're gonna go hard, we're gonna destroy the chest, destroy the triceps. Um, I just slammed a bunch of uh, cold brew this morning. And uh, yeah, so I'm feeling good, I'm feeling... Um, yeah, why is it so busy? There's all kinds of shit going on right now. Um, yeah probably hit legs tomorrow and uh, I want to hit a, a long sauna session too today um, just because uh, yeah I just feel like I, I got some shit that I can sweat out so that's what I hope to do today man it is not nice out here sheesh um, yeah, and then we'll just eat super clean tonight. Got a bunch of mangoes, um, veggies, meat. Uh, we're going to have chicken and steak tonight. We're a little bougie. We already know what we're eating tonight. You know, keep it to probably about 1,800 calories. I've really been liking the, the ground chicken and vegetables. It's just easy. It's simple. Uh, I can prep it, you know, pretty much. I only need to prep it kind of twice a week. It 
simple. It, 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 it's, I like having things like that. I feel it good, man. Yeah, the weight may not be dropping off uh, right now, you know, but we're getting fucking below 190 if it kills me this month. You know what I'm saying? We just, we need to get that, that progress. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just, I know I could be dedicating more to the, to the eating and to the grind, but you know, we still got time. We still got a hundred and something days of eating one meal a day. So I'm not overly concerned. I hope y'all can hear me. I know it's kind of loud in here today. Ugh, that's so muddy over there. What's up? But yeah, we'll get to the gym. I already did some mobility stuff, and I was working on some music this morning. Make sure you check out the podcast that dropped yesterday. I kind of explain. Woo! I kind of explain what's going to be happening to the channel. Got some new exciting stuff coming. And uh, yeah. I know I gotta get my fucking, I gotta get more music out, I gotta get more shredded, I just gotta put in more work, man, I, I, and that's the thing, it's like, what I was doing at the beginning needs to be adjusted, and that's, that's what, fat loss, and weight loss, and muscle gain, and, and all that, it's like, you need to make adjustments, and you need to develop new habits, the one thing that's great is I haven't been backtracking, backtracking, you know, I've at least been able to maintain under the 200 pounds uh, for a while, but I haven't been able to crack the 195, not even 190. So, uh, and I know it's just dedication. It's dedication to the cause. It's it's one thing to maintain the weight. It's another thing to uh, be progressing and cutting. So that's the main focus is to fucking get shredded. You know, so uh, so that's what we gonna. That's what we're focusing on. Man, that dude is bumping at the at the bus stop. Going to the bus stop. I could remix that. Uh, going to the car wash. Car wash, yeah. What a funny song to write about, you know? Anyways, we're pulling up to the gym right now. Um, yeah, I'm also listening to a new album five days a week, and I am... Oh, man, the gym looks packed. And uh, I'm also watching one movie five days a week as well. So if y'all got any movie wrecks or album wrecks... Drop them in the comments and I'll get to them. I need all of them. All right. I'm going to get my ass in this gym here. More love, more success, y'all. Let's get after it today. Yeah, so like I was saying, I really want to focus in on more development of the upper body or the upper pecs. So lots of incline press. The 185 felt pretty good, uh, which I was surprised I haven't been lifting heavy for incline pressing, just doing lots of push-ups at home. So to take the 185 for a couple sets of, I believe, six reps felt really good. I felt strong. So my goal is to get this to 225, even as I, I, even as I keep cutting weight. That'll be cool. If I can keep my bench to being super heavy and then I can get this to 275 or 225, I'll be pretty happy. So super simple workout, just a couple sets of uh, of incline press. The last set I did a burnout set, so I just dropped it to 135 and I did, you know, whatever, 15, 20 reps. Then I did um, some chest flies here, really focused on the stretch in the pec at the end. So not the squeeze together, but the end stretch. Um, these felt good. I haven't done flies in a while, so these were fucking burning my chest is gonna be hella sore tomorrow um yeah so again every set i took right to failure here you can tell that my chest is just fucking burning man sheesh it was a really really good session today i was fucking working my ass off and then i just did uh three or four sets of tricep push downs to failure 
um, super simple workout. Yeah, got it all, got the lifting done in 30, 40 minutes, you know. I did a warm-up mobility stuff at home, and then I did some cardio. I kind of explain what I do for cardio at the end, but this is me just getting the incline, getting my body warmed up for it. And then this was just some random ass photo I thought I would add because I was like, yo, that's funny as fuck. Here's me after running some sprints. What's going on? You beautiful sunshine and motherfuckers. It's your boy, just Jordan. Um, just leaving the grocery store because uh, the superstore is right right next to the gym so if i need to grab something i just grabbed a little bit of uh fruit man your boy is hurting when it comes to money <laughs> but aren't we all uh but really good lift today in the gym and uh man fruit's expensive these days but you know what i keep doing i just keep buying whatever is on sale Today I got two pounds of strawberries for five bucks. What a motherfucking steal of a motherfucking deal. Steal of a motherfucking deal. Steal of a motherfucking deal. A really good session at the gym today. We hit chest. Like I was saying, big focus on the incline. Uh, we really nailed the triceps at the end. Really good session, and this is what I want to talk about too. Um, I've been, I was doing this. Um, uh, I've been listening to one album and watching one movie every day for inspiration. Five albums, five movies a week, and uh, uh, what I've been doing is on the treadmill. I do kind of one song to warm up. Now, every day is not like this, but one song to warm up. Today, this is what I did. So, one or two songs to warm up. It depends on how long the album is. Something around 45 minutes to just over an hour. That's just a typical album. So, one to two songs to warm up, whatever pace. And then, one song, uh, pick a pace where you can run the whole time, but you're exhausted. And every song is, you know, about three, somewhere between two and a half and five minutes. So, an average three minutes. Um, and then when the next song starts, bring the incline as high as you can and bring the speed way down. And that's your act of rest. And then you just switch. Bring the incline down, run fast. Next song, bring the incline up, walk. Boom, boom, boom. And then uh, when the album's over, you can either pick the last song to cool down or once the album's over, you can cool down. Man, it's just a cool way to be in the album, but to be working hard still, too. It was a really good uh, session. And then we did, uh, man, I don't know what it is about the sauna at the gym lately, uh, but I did two rounds of 15 minutes. I was going to go uh, three rounds, but I'll work my way back up to that. Uh, what I'll eventually work up to is 20 minutes in the sauna, 10 minute rest, 15 minutes in the sauna, 5 minute rest, 10 minutes in the sauna, and then it works out to be about another hour, but man, it's exhausting, especially after a workout and cardio, but the lifting, when you're doing a body split like this, you know, if you're not fucking around, you can really get a really good workout in within 30 minutes, I mean, lifting wise, man, it looks like it's gonna fucking storm really bad again, the clouds are nuts though. It was already raining and stuff this morning, but the clouds look nuts so right now. Hmm, we'll see. Um, yeah, so feeling good. Excited to go uh, weigh in. I'm going to go prep some food as soon as I get home, and then I'll weigh in. And then, uh, yeah, I, I, I've been tending to eat a little bit earlier in the day around six or seven as opposed to eight nine ten ish uh for whatever reason i just have been getting hungrier earlier and uh man if i'm not being active i get way hungry it's funny how exercise actually um and moving around and being active actually uh 
dulls your hunger, you know? Because on, on when I'm not being active, man, I get fucking hungry. I need to wake up and just go for a walk. I, the only reason I haven't been able to wake up and just go for a walk is because it's been so shitty outside. Um, because I find that just that little bit of morning activity helps dull the hunger. Because as soon as, like, like right now, after, of course I could eat. I haven't ate since yesterday. And it's 3 o'clock or something. Um, so, of course, I'm hungry. But I'm not, like, starving. You know, this morning I was friggin' hungry. Anyways, man, I'm, uh, I'm excited. So, big things coming to the channel next week. Yeah, we're staying good. We're staying committed to the, to the diet and everything. Man, I'm just focused. I'm focused right now, you know? just uh, I feel like we're gonna hit some goals I'm feeling lean I'm feeling good in the gym and you know people are coming up to me and noticing you know so I'm not uh, I'm not worried we've just been at this weight kind of floating around this weight for a while so if uh, by Sunday we're not at 193 at least we gotta make some big not big changes, but we got to make some kind of adjustment here. I just don't know what it is, you know. But keep trucking, keep moving, keep moving. I don't want to, I've been doing a lot of weight loss, you know, for a long time. So we'll, uh, we'll get it. We'll get it. I'm, uh, I'm going to hit these goals. All right. So I'm just pulling up to the crib. I'm going to go prep some food and then weigh in. But y'all already know that I, uh, already know that I, uh, what, what I weighed today, so, but this Jay doesn't, all right, look at these motherfucking strawberries, all right, all right, yeah, we'll love more success, all right, so I will be responding to more questions and comments, you know, I, I, I'm back on my shit with that. So this one's from at Fred Frotz 7252 says more stoicism, please. If you go check out the latest podcast, it's called The Quick Update. I talk about a new book I'm reading right now in regards to stoicism by my favorite dude, Ryan Holiday. It's not this book, but I'll read you this book today. Um, Ryan Holiday. Um, right thing oh right uh, i'll throw a picture of it up right thing right now oh uh, man i'm like i listen to it while i train so i listen to a uh usually a book or a podcast while i lift and then while i do cardio i like to listen to an album it's just the way i sometimes it's reversed sometimes it's reversed but it it, it typically is uh it's that order. And yeah, so this book is Right Things Right Now, Good Values, Good Character, Good Deeds. And uh, I'll read y'all. Uh, what what should I? I'll read you what today is. Even though, you know, I'll read this the Daily Stoke also by Ryan Holiday. I love Ryan Holiday shit, man. Um Love, love. I got a track on my album coming out called The Daily Stoic. It's it's a crazy track. It, I can't wait. I got so much new music coming. I can't. Oh, man. Some of this new stuff. It's, it's, it's great and I'm excited. All right. I was just working on some of it and then I saw this comment. So um, June 12th. I know this is June 13th when it comes out, but you know. Maybe I'll start reading these every day to y'all. What do y'all what do y'all think? Who knows? Uh June twelfth. A trained mind is better than any script. In this way you must understand how laughable it is to say, Tell me what to do. What advice could I possibly give? No, a far better request is train my mind to adopt to any circ adapt to any circumstances. In this way, if circumstances take you off script, you won't be desperate for a new prompting. So this comes from this is a, that was a quote from Epictetus, and then this is kind of what the 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 writing is. It would be nice if someone could show up exactly could show us exactly what to do in every situation. 
Indeed, this is what we spend a good portion of our lives doing, preparing for this, studying for that, saving for or anticipating some arbitrary point in the future. But plans, as the bark boxer Mike Tyson pointed out, last only until you get punched in the face. Stoics do not seek to have the answer for every question or plan for every contingency. Yet, they're also not worried. See Why? Because they have confidence that they'll be able to adapt and change with the circumstances. Instead of looking for instruction, they cultivate skills like creativity, independence, self-confidence, ingenu ingenuity, and the ability to... I've never seen ingenuity in text before, you know? Sometimes... Yeah, that's why you read. <laughs> uh, and the ability to problem solve. In this way, they are resilient instead of rigid. We can practice we can practice the same. Today we will focus on the strategic rather than the tactical. We'll remind ourselves that it's better to be taught than simply given. And better to be flexible than stick to a script. And that's I talk about this all the time. Rigid flexibility, like a fucking palm tree. Blow in the wind, but you're still s s sturdy like a tree, man. Um, yeah, that's a beautiful one. Yeah, I was just making sure it was actually the 12th. That's a beautiful one today, man. Uh, so many cool things. Yeah, l let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments. If y'all want me to keep reading these, you know, I can read them uh, a couple times a week. Maybe not every day. Um, but yeah, definitely... I love this shit, man. It helps keep me focused, keep me grounded, keep me motivated. That's why I love a lot of Ryan Holiday's work, man. It's it's a lot of old history stuff. Um, the book Right Thing Right Now is 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 super dope. Um, I can't wait to finish it as part of this like collection of books. Anyways, I talk about it in the podcast. Um, that's why I do a podcast too. I can't talk about everything in these videos all the time, but you know, we can uh, we can do a little bit of something. something. All right, next thing y'all will see is my uh, is my food for today. I got to get back to working on these tracks. All right, more love, more success, and thank you for the comments. And please subscribe, comment. I will be getting to more of them more often. All right. I've been a big fan of chamomile tea, cold brewing it and adding a little honey, but I'm going to try to steep some strawberries in it. I'll let you know how it is. All right, this is tonight's dinner. We got a whole bunch of shit. We're going to have... Half of that steak, so one of those steaks in that pack, that's about 700 calories, 80 grams of protein. As you can see, there's vegetables in the middle. We're going to double up to 200 uh, calories of the vegetables, and you can see that there's uh, ground chicken beside that, 700 calories, 85 grams of protein. We're going to have just one of those mangoes. Uh, at about 100 calories, half of those strawberries, which is going to be about 150 calories. If you look to the top of the screen, that jello is going to be 40 calories. And that huge tub of pudding to the top left is um, 500 calories and 50 grams of protein. But I'm only going to have about 200 calories of that. All in all, this entire meal is about 2,100 calories and 180 to 190 grams of protein. We fucking killed it today. All right, more love, more success. Let's get it.